Hello everyone, this is my attempt to draw out a representation of the Zog stove and show you exactly what goes on when you light the fire. Um, I, I've drawn the, the Zog in purple and the dotted lines are going to represent things that you can't see there on the inside. Uh, so for instance, this dotted line represents the inner workings of the Zog. Uh, this would be the heat riser, this is the burn chamber down here and followed into the exhaust pipe which would be covered by your thermal mass whether it's granite, brick, cob, water, you name it. Um, but uh, this is what happens. So we're gonna light the fire. These are your sticks here and let's say they lit on fire. Okay so you got fire happening. Now what's gonna happen immediately is air is going to start to go up. Hot air is going to start to go up and it's going to expand. And when that expands and pushes itself up, you're going to see cold air rushing into the system. Because of the vacuum created. Uh, now the cold air can come in from here or if you have our accessory of a pedestal cold air inlet it can rush in here as well. Either way it's going to come in into the system um, cold. Okay, It mixes with the hot air, expands, travels up the heat riser and blasts this top plate with heat right here. Okay, that top plate gets pretty hot. This is where you cook on. That heat comes off that top plate, radiates out into your house this way. Next thing you know, that hot air comes down over the side of the heat riser into the outer outer chamber. <clears throat> it heats up the cylinder as well. And so now your cylinder is going to radiate heat. Okay, like that. Okay, so this thing is generating a lot of heat from your sticks and twigs. The air goes in, it expands, it hits this top plate, cools down, dumps a lot of heat right there, the rest of the heat is dumped there, and it starts to cool down. We'll use green as our cooler but still hot air temperature. So now you have an airflow of green. And this this green is actually contracting, it's getting smaller. The air inside is getting smaller here. So it's, it has to pull more air in to fill the vacuum. And then it travels like this. So this colder air, which is still hot, and this is probably about, we'll say by here it's about 250 degrees, travels into your thermal mass through the exhaust pipe that you've put in here and you'll probably want to have a clean out right here so that you can access all of that and all of that. So this air temperature comes through here heating up this cob bench heating 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 radiating out heat this way and this way Okay, so you're getting radiant heat here. Now what you want to do is you want to put your pillows or your mattress and your pillow or whatever you got right on this cob bench because it's radiating heat. And this cob bench can get up to 130, 140 degrees, which might be unbearable to sit on 
direct contact but if you put a a blanket or a cushion or something like that it's really really nice so then your air comes through here with with uh, the force from this exchange of heat expansion cool contraction force up to 25 feet and then you're going to want to send it up and out and it's still putting out warm air at this point but right about here it starts turning back into room temperature room temperature right through here and then up and out at room temperature so there you have it uh, I hope I made I hope I made it semi easy to understand anyway if you have any questions please drop me a line email and link is in uh, down below thank you very much